about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Tara. I've been asking each week up in the cards what you'd like to see next. You guys really love Instant Pot recipe videos. So I thought it would be super fun today for us to make a beef and broccoli in the Instant Pot that is so incredibly delicious, perfect for meal prepping, great for a busy work week, and you guys are gonna absolutely love it. Before we get started, if you have not already, and why haven't you already? Hit that red subscribe button that's right below this video and be sure to hit the bell icon. That way you're notified each time I post a new video. I have got lots more delicious recipes headed your way. So if you guys are excited about a delicious beef and broccoli in the Instant Pot, then keep on watching. We're gonna get started with our aromatics. So I've got a shallot, a piece of ginger, and a few cloves of garlic. I love using shallots in recipes like this because it has such a delicious flavor. It's not as strong as an onion. If you don't have a shallot, of course you can use maybe about half of an onion. And I'm just mincing this up really well. And then I'm using my knife to kind of smash down on the garlic. This helps to get the skins off of it. And then I'm actually gonna just mince this up. I am not going to use my garlic press today. So I'm just mincing this up nice and fine. And then we're gonna get our ginger going. So a great hack with this, I've shown it before, is to use a spoon, the back of a spoon, to get the skin off. And then I'm just slicing this up and I'm going to mince this as well. You can also grate this in. If you grate it in, it will not be as intense of a flavor in there and you won't bite into it, but I actually love ginger, so I don't mind it. Now we're gonna get our beef ready. So I have sliced the sirloin up into even slices. Then we're gonna set our Instant Pot to saute on high, put a drizzle of avocado oil in, and throw all of this inside. And we are just gonna keep stirring this until it becomes nice and fragrant. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of sesame oil. You don't need a very much of this stuff because it's very strong, but it has such a delicious flavor. Definitely need it inside of there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to deglaze the pan. I decided to add a little bit of coconut oil. This is refined coconut oil because I did not want the flavor of the coconut inside of this, but I thought it would be really nice. You could add either more oil, more water, whichever you like. Then I'm gonna throw all of the beef inside of here and just kind of let it brown. We are not looking for it to cook here. We're just looking to brown it. So I'm just stirring everything up now that it has gotten nice and brown on the one side. Then I'm gonna add some cracks of fresh black pepper. I'm not adding any salt because we are going to be using soy sauce, which even though I use a reduced sodium, it still has a lot of salt in it. Next, we're going to add some Chinese rice wine. If you don't have this or you want to keep it alcohol free, you can substitute water. I do recommend it though, because it adds a lot in the flavor department and keep on stirring. So nothing sticks. Then we're going to add some soy sauce. I'm using a gluten-free tamari and then some dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce is different than regular soy sauce. It's a little sweeter and also helps it to produce a very bold color. If you don't have it, you can use regular soy sauce. And then we're going to add some filtered water. You have to make sure you have enough water so the Instant Pot will pressurize correctly. Then I add my trivet and my heat proof glass bowl and then I'm putting in my white basmati rice. I've rinsed, rinsed it really well. That's very important. And make sure you use white rice and not brown rice or it will not cook quickly enough. Then you hit cancel on the Instant Pot, set it to high pressure for four minutes. Next, let's get started on our broccoli. So I am just gonna cut this into florets. I did not wanna add this to the Instant Pot because it would be way too mushy. But when you see how incredibly easy this is, guys, you're really not gonna believe it. So I'm just breaking and cutting these into about equal size pieces. After the Instant Pot is finished cooking, we're gonna allow a 10 minute natural pressure release. This will ensure the meat is absolutely tender and delicious. I have this awesome microwavable steamer basket. If you don't have one of these, you could also just put it in a regular bowl and just with a little bit of water and just cook it like that. But I place it inside of here, put the cover on, and in only three minutes in the microwave, this is completely cooked perfectly and it's so fast and easy. They're just like that, perfect broccoli. 
Now that the 10 minutes are up for the natural pressure release, it's time to perform a quick release. So using the back of my spoon so I don't burn my hand, we're gonna allow the pin to drop and then we can open the lid. I absolutely love making a meal like this. Look at this rice, it's cooked so perfectly, so quickly. So now we're gonna remove the bowl, being careful because of course it's hot. Then we're gonna take the trivet out and it's time for us to add our broccoli to this delicious beef. So we're just gonna pour it all in there. I've hit cancel on the Instant Pot and put it back to saute on high. And I'm just stirring everything up. I decided to add a little bit more of this dark soy sauce. It's got such a delicious flavor, but you can substitute it, of course, with regular soy sauce. Season the dish to your preference with salt and pepper. I didn't think it needed any salt, but I wanted to add just a little bit more pepper. I don't like my sauce to be really thick. If you wanted this to be thicker, you could add a cornstarch slurry at this point. I decided to hit this with just another little drizzle of the toasted sesame oil. It's got such a deep flavor. A little bit goes a long way. So now it's time to plate it up. This delicious rice, perfectly cooked beef and broccoli, better than takeout faster than takeout. I garnished it with a little bit of black sesame seeds and some crushed red pepper flakes because I love a little bit of heat. I've got to give this a taste. So incredibly tender and delicious. Perfect for meal prepping. My meals are done for the week. You guys are going to absolutely love this recipe. What did you think of today's video? Drop me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Let me know either a video series you're interested in, a recipe you'd love to see. If you like today's video and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit that like button and share this video on all of your social media platforms with your friends, your family, your coworkers, or anyone else that you know that is interested in healthy but delicious recipes. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.